What is going on, everyone? Thanks for the sub, Brewster, and my name is Boyd, and I'm back with some more Age of Mythology, the Titans action. I was trying so hard to do that smoothly, and I, it was just, it was a brutal, it was terrible. Anyways, spawning on the bottom of the map, in the red color, playing as Odin, his name is Yoshi. His opponent today in the blue color, playing as Ra, his name is Kimo. We have Kimo's Ra, ladies and gentlemen. Oh dear, this is a nightmare start from Chemo. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. This this kind of thing. This kind of thing happens to me. Okay, this is, if 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 Chemo's smart, he'll know what to do here. If he's not smart, we'll have to wait wait and see if he knows what to do in this position. So I love three giraffe spawn. Three giraffe spawn for Egyptian is my bread and butter. It's yeah. the best. It's a very, very fun spawn here for... Um, okay, there's a giraffe. He's just going to come back himself. But three giraffe... No, it's not. Wait, where's he going? Anyways. Three giraffe spawn is my favorite spawn here uh, as as uh, as Ra. Because you just get all the food you need to advance to the classical age. And you can rely on whatever else you want. Uh, and it really, really makes fast two town center shenanigans super strong. But if you don't micro it properly in the early game, life is really tough. And Kimo is doing something incredibly crazy here. This is something I do not recommend. If you're watching this trying to learn Ra, uh, this build order is going to be making your life much harder than it should be in the uh, in the early game. So we'll see we'll see what's going to happen here in the end. I'm excited about this game because Yoshi, he's one of the best Odin Odin players currently playing. There's there's a, there's a handful of uh, of Norse players right now who are incredibly strong, and, and Yoshi's in that conversation. So you got like Shadowfax, who if you haven't watched it, spoilers, uh, the Fimble Winter Tournament spoilers, uh, he he did come out as the champion of Norse. There doesn't mean he's the best Norse player. It means he's the best Norse first Norse player. Just keep that in mind. There's very different things there. He's actually definitely incredibly strong though. Um, but there is the, the, the there is Shadowfax. There's Soup. There's Rappel and there's Yoshi. And, and these four players, and, and there's definitely a couple of other Norse players to, to talk about as well, like Gaboo's Loki is really strong as well. Uh, but these players are incredibly good. So watching them play against Kimo's Ra, who is uh, arguably the best Ra uh, currently playing, maybe maybe with uh, the exception of possibly Joe when he's, when he's um, at full potential. Uh, Kimo, Kimo is super strong. And we can see Kimo doing uh, this this craziness here. And the thing is, with this with this temple built here, it seems like, it really seems like this goes up super quick and it's super value because you get the Pharaoh empowering, you get the bonus there, the villagers get that temple up super quick. But the thing is, it's not more efficient than just getting the temple up with one villager if it's possible. And it's totally possible. And you can get this advanced time. It's actually not even a... Not even quite the correct. We're almost getting that building block there on the on the on the scrambly, but not much going to happen. But a very very interesting start here from Kimo. I'm interested to see what he's going to go for here. He might be actually going for a classical fight here. He doesn't have a monument down just yet. He's going to be moving over onto these berry bushes. He could move forward onto the onto the uh, onto the rhinoceros here. This town center looks incredibly juicy to grab on this back corner over here. He's got Gazelle. We've got a forward temple already up by Yoshi as Yoshi is looking like he wants to be super aggressive. Relic on the map here. Head of Orpheus plus eight building line of sight. As the uh, the ravens scouting around looking what, at what they uh, what they can do here. As Batar on the way. Very, very soon. We'll see. I mean, Heimdall's coming in very quick here for Yoshi. We'll see what Kimo's going to do here. I do think that if Kimo is going for a classical fight, uh, which it looks like he is, he actually has the advantage here if he drops the barracks down immediately. In which is he dropping the... Yes. So dropping the barracks down immediately, it's almost as if Kimo is predicting that this Heimdall is coming in. So... Uh, this doesn't necessarily mean this is going to be a win for Kimo, but it does mean that uh, things are going to be very, very difficult here for Yoshi as he's trying to throw up these walls over here. We see the, the Wadget coming in to hit this off, throwing up mass walls here against this classical army. The only reason this is strong is because Yoshi is dropping the, the barracks, the temple forward here. We see a longhouse coming down, double longhouse coming down on the front here. As the barracks has been spotted uh, by Yoshi, but 
what is what is Yoshi's response to this? As he's gonna, I mean, he's just gonna get the buildings down. We'll see what what Kimo is gonna be getting out of his barracks. Looks like a couple of axemen. I think a double barracks here would be the correct play. As the Pharaoh does spot this, just shifting stands in this back home is gonna be really, really deadly. And he does go for that. The Pharaoh does get uh, low HP here, but he's gonna garrison micro around. He's gonna take down the Ainia very, very fast here. The uh, the scrambling over here should get targeted down as well. As that goes down, as the Ulfsark goes down, and the Hursa goes down. Nice early game damage there with Shifting Sands. Well played. However, however, recently I have discovered that this really doesn't do that much damage to the uh, to the Nor to the Norse players. We are seeing the Axemen going to come out and try and take down these... Uh, Try to see the, long, the wooden wall coming in there. But th this, this amount of damage here doesn't really matter to the Norse player. What matters to the Norse player is getting value out of their Heroic Age God Power. And that Heroic Age God Power is Frost, it is Flaming Weapons. And Shifting Sands is really, really good counter to that. Shifting Sands and a handful of Priests. Because what happens is the units get a whole bunch of damage done. As soon as the Frost is over, you just Shifting Sands your army back home, and then you just heal it back up. And then you've countered that super hard. So holding on to that shifting sands for that counter is is a is a is a really really good thing to do. But right now we've got one town center Kimo versus one town center Yoshi, and things are very very tense moving forward. Is the reigning cavalry going to be looking to grab a, a hit a raid on this location? Just as that gazelle is just about to finish up, Kimo will be well, maybe he's going to be getting a little bit of damage taken over here. But there's six villagers here, and they should be more than capable of shanking those raiding cavalry away. They're not the strongest here, so we're going to be seeing the villagers retreating here. Yoshi just Besides, yeah, I'm not even going to try on that. Searching for something else to do. We do have to remember that there is still Undermine here available for Yoshi. So we'll see what's going to happen there as the villagers pull back in. Second monument just about up. Armory coming down. One town center straight to the Mythic Age here. Might not be the worst of ideas for Kemo here as he does get himself Shadoof. He Does he have himself uh, Plow just yet? He's getting himself Husbandry. Plow, he wants it to come in. He is clicking it uh, furiously there uh, to try and get it out as fast as he possibly can. Ironically, the fastest way to get out Plow is to uh, just train Plow, which he... He's given up on doing at the moment, but he's actually to just force drop your villages into the thing and then hit control G and then get, get your plow. But it's fine. Farms coming down now here for Chemo. He's trying to position as many farms as he possibly can on this location here. As Yoshi pulls back and Yoshi is actually reading this beautifully. I like this play from Yoshi. The question is, does he go for Njord at the, or does he go for uh, Scardi here? I think... I think that the Scardi play has to be the correct idea here. On one town center here, you're not going to be able to really push in and, and deal all too much damage here. But you do want to be able to threaten something, like forcing out a whole bunch of priests or something to then take control of the outside of the map here. Uh, but Kimo here, he should be able to advance to the Heroic Age. Same two will be Yoshi going up to the Heroic Age as well. He's really, really enjoying all the hunt on this uh, on this map. One thing that I, I think I would have really liked from Kimo is to just build like five spearmen or something and run them around the map here to, to harass this Great hunt, enough. trying to be a little bit more... Uh, do a little bit more pressure than he, than he actually has been doing here. As we see, Scardi is the god of choice here for Yoshi. Kimo, on the other hand, still not able to advance just yet. He's got all the upgrades that he needs. Uh, but the, uh, the the advance time here is going to be around about nine minutes, which is very, very late in all honesty, uh, considering how much, how little Kimo has actually grabbed here. He's got two monuments, though. And so this double monument here might be a big a big issue for, for, for Yoshi to deal with, because what it means is he's going to have access to uh, around about 10 favor per minute, which means one Patsukos every, every minute and a half can be produced, which is a big deal. That's a lot of Patsukos, uh, and that's a really, really good counter to the Frost Giants as well. As we see a second town center now coming down for Yoshi. I like this play. I think this town center sort of secures this gold mine a little bit, as well as a, a hill fort immediately getting dropped here to secure that against the rock raids. That'd be really, really smart. It also helps him against the potential fast mythic through uh, Horus here, which is potentially coming from Chemo which will be a, a difficult thing to deal with as well. But look at the resources, perfectly grabbed by Yoshi to deal with that uh, and drop up a, a hill fort immediately here as Skin of the Rhino, Hathor coming in, gold mine here, 800 gold remaining, villagers happily moving over onto this location as the Raven does spot that out. Yoshi doesn't really have the units to put pressure onto this just yet as the Migdol will be going up. Uh, but what he can do here, if he gets this timing correctly, he can just hit 
undermine on this, and he does do it. We'll see if it's going to be enough here, as it does a little bit of damage. There's lots of villagers repairing this one here, as it looks like it's going to go... A oh, Frost goes down! No, you can't use Frost here! You can't use this is gonna this is this is exactly what came up. It's a lot of villagers, mind you. It's a lot of idle villagers here. And he does delete the, the Migdol. And Kimo's gold will not have fully been refunded here. You can see he's actually trying to grab a town center instead. He doesn't have the gold even to throw anything down. This is super all in, though, by Yo Yoshi. The reason why this Frost on this position is a risky move is because now you don't have Frost for Son of Osiris. And there is 100% going to be a Son of Osiris coming in this game. But potentially, Yoshi could find himself, uh, could find himself access to, the, to a victory before... Kimo can even get Mythic Age here. He is playing this one so absurdly well in this game. As the uh, Raiding Cavalry coming through over here, we see the units getting picked up by that rock being very, very annoying. We've got this Locust just happily not being, well, not happily, just being not used at this point as that particular tier will be carrying this fight home as the villagers retreating away. And you have to remember that Kimo did get himself skin of the Rhino here as the villagers are retreating. We do still have a handful of gold left in this gold mine. 500 gold remaining over here as the Raiding Cavalry getting taken down, trying to pull over here, trying to prevent those villagers from retreating back, trying to pick off just a handful more of those as you Yoshi does manage to do so. Yoshi pulls back now. He's down his heroic edge god power. Uh, he does have to worry about rock raids here. So he's drawn up a hill fort on this location. It secures this location, but this bottom one still is going to get hit. So he might have to throw down a second hill fort over here to secure this large gold mine completely. As the Raiding Cavalry is still trying to push through here. Uh, Yoshi does need to be a little bit careful about overcommitting now. He's, he's done lots of damage, but question is, is it going to have been enough moving forward? Now, the other thing is, you could see him come over onto this gold mine down here, which is not being uh, not being scouted by Yoshi like, at all here. His raven here is randomly sitting on this location, so down the bottom. Uh, so Kimo doesn't really need to worry about this, but he is dealing a lot of damage over here. As we see a temple coming up by Yoshi. The hill fort is up, but he definitely needs to think about what he's going to do, do with this. As Kimo here, he's not really building anymore. Oh, he's getting a whole bunch of wadget out. Wadget are a really interesting unit. They deal 16 damage per second, which is a lot of damage, considering, like, compare it to, like, like a Chariot Archer or something. It's a lot of damage. It's not quite as much as a Patsukos. It's not 55 damage per second. It's 55 damage per shot, as we're going to start seeing the raids going in. He has to, he has to be careful where he sends this, because you don't want to run it straight over a whole swath of thrown Axemen here. As do we have the, the upgrade? We do not have the upgrade. As the uh, rock here is going to start getting targeted down here. Do we see Yoshi grabbing it? No, he is not. As the rock going to move over here. There is the hill fort, but remember there is this weakness over here. And and a big locust on this could do a lot of damage. Yes, he can garrison into the hill fort, but the rest of those dwarves might get picked off here. As uh, Kimo is furious here. He wants to grab. He wants to get super value out of this locust. He needs to get super value out of this locust. As he does spot the hill fort. He's going to be swinging around this one now. As more houses coming down on this location over here. Kimo taking this opportunity now to secure this gold mine. He gets his Migdal stronghold up here. And we see the Frost Giant coming in onto this location over here. That's now the rock coming through. We do have three Ulfjarls, which are actually technically enough to deal with this rock, but... It's just it's a large amount of population commitment to uh, to deal with the rock here at this point I think as the uh, ooh, nice play here from uh, from Kimo but look at that the oh the Yarls almost take everything out there th one two three four dwarves get taken down on this location ten get into that hill fort the gold mine gets uh, gets cut with five dwarves going down the gold mine gets cut for twenty seconds that beautiful play here from Kimo doing a lot of damage over there as the raiding cavalry coming in onto this location to try and defend this one. As best as they can. We do have that Frost Giant able to uh, prevent one of those Wadgets from firing there, but those Heavy Raiders are just not going to be enough to deal with those those uh, Camelry coming out, the Spearmen and the Wadget that are there. He has to retreat back off of that position. How Yoshi being incredibly, incredibly uh, aggressive on this position over here to grab those Zebra. 
as we see those uh, chemo here, he's looking like he's gearing up to go to that Mythic Age. You can see he's got the market up. He's got the, the fortified town centers coming in. He's not going for a fourth, a third town center just yet. Plenty of villages on resources here. His economy looking very mightily strong here. He never forgets those vitally important upgrades of irrigation and uh, and shaft mine. Super important in this matchup. We do see the, the rock flying through here. It just has a wadget in it. So, I mean, it shouldn't be that big of a deal as the Pitsukos must have been picked off somewhere. As the village is simply just going to retreat back. We see the Frost Giant trying to chase this down. It's going to be healing up ever so slightly here. Little known fact, the Wadget does have uh, self-healing. So uh, it's it's a lizard, so it can heal itself. You do see the Frost Giant does manage to deal with that Wadget nicely. And the rock is going to be floating over there saying, What did I do? Why am I here? Uh, as Chemo trying to push through onto this location. The Great Yarl swinging through onto those Wadget. And the Wadget have no defense here as the Yarls should be able to catch uh, up to them. They are quite slow at 4.8 speed, but... The, the wadgets are slower as the unit's trying to push through here. Those chariot archers doing a ton of damage here, dealing with those uh, throwing axemen really, really nicely here. We'll see if he can get in onto the back here. He's starting to get those raiding cavalry in to deal with those chariot archers. We're not quite able to do all too much here. Kimo now going up through Osiris as Yoshi here. He's grabbing his third town center and he's got, uh, he doesn't have a market just yet, but he's got the resources to go to the next age. Is he throwing a market up? Yes, he is. And he's going to be going up. I imagine Balder has to be the god of choice choice here uh but what is he going to pick is the is the question you could you could theoretically see i could i could see tier working here because chemo's economy is really weak here so the thimble winter is going to give a big advantage going forward but equally chemo's economy is really weak here so a ragnarok is going to hurt a lot and all the other good stuff that comes from that and not only that he also has to deal with the son of osiris here uh, which is going to be coming through very, very shortly. Town Center just about up onto this position here. But you've got to be a little bit careful because like a wall over here and a catapult in onto this position to take this Town Center down is going to be really, really tough to deal with as the units retreat back. Over here, Osiris comes in for Chemo as he's going to move forward and grab this Town Center over here. Son of Osiris does come through as Yoshi is pulling all the way back. He is... He's definitely in a bit of a difficult position here. I'm not going to lie. He's, he's thrown a lot of his advantage that he'd constructed here. He's getting his town center up. Uh, he's going Balder. It's relatively equal. He started a trade route, which I absolutely love. You, you have to know that I, I hate Balder when you don't have a trade route. Yoshi managing to make that happen as uh, heavy cavalry coming or a trade route or fishing ships. One of the two. I mean, if you have trade route and fishing ships, that's the best. But anyways... As the uh, as the town center does go up here, barracks coming down. As the mummy here going to come through and snipe down that full HP fro frost giant. I'm sure, poor little frost giant. There, mummy's such a strong unit. Frost giants become useless uh, against those mummies. You kind of you kind of need like three or four frost giants to like just dive in onto the mummy when it appears. And he did have three of them, but he doesn't want to dive in with the son of Osiris being there. I guess, as Balder does come through. Now, there's no reason for Yoshi to immediately kick, uh, click Balder here. There's no reason to do this. He can wait, get his economy out, get himself a bunch of fire giants out, get himself some siege even out of this, get some portable rams to help him push through. Alternatively, he can try and go for a Titan Ragnarok or, or something like that. Skip, hun. And... Uh, Lots of different options here. Lots of resources coming into the bank. I, I would, I mean, if he does, if he does go for Titan Rag here, I think that's actually a really, really good option here because I don't think that Rag wins at this point. It's the market set up for for Chemo. Chemo is going to be throwing down tons of walls and barracks here to just slow down his opponent. As we do see the units starting to move forward, and honestly, uh, Yoshi's going to be kicking himself here. For, for not saving his self frost here for that son of Osiris as it's just sitting there wanting to be wanting to be killed as he can start getting some damage done the villagers here gonna get taken out as much as possible as now the unit's pushing through over here see if they can hold on Kimo hasn't really gotten himself too many uh, army upgrades here he's just focused completely on the economy here he's got all the economic upgrades here as the raiding cavalry swing through champion raiders comes in a little bit of damage onto the son of osiris but he does basically get away from here but with the fire giants being out this is super scary here 
for Kemo. I absolutely love that we didn't see an immediate balder here, by the way, from Yoshi. I think this is super smart, super correct. There's no there's no reason for him to get it. He just needs to get some damage done, get the uh, really strong Yowls out to deal with any sort of uh, Axeman shenanigans coming in before he clicks Rag, get more trade out with all the trade caravans he's going to have. Repositioning the market into the corner. Absolutely beautiful there by Yoshi. The other thing I would like to see, and now that he's got that there, is just some nice safety walls to make sure that his opponent just can't sneakily move in and kill his... Uh Oh, son of Osiris here getting caught out. Will Yoshi notice this pool of units back here as the uh, the army trying to ca catch this up? There is the rock over here. The fire giant is here, though. Can take that rock down. 84 HP. Not quite fast enough on noticing that one as the rock going to be dropping that son of Osiris back over onto this location. And, and basically, you have to focus down the rock first here. And that's exactly what Yoshi... Uh, what It's not really what Yoshi's doing. He's actually going to be trying to target down the son of Osiris as the rock does get cleaned up there there is another one where there is one rock there is always a second rock right that's how it works as the son of osiris getting pulled back here as yoshi is doing as much damage as he possibly can onto that one there is the fire giant now going to be starting to take down the rock over here getting a little bit of damage done unfortunately you kind of have to get right underneath the rock for, with the fire giant to actually take it out otherwise it will be fast enough to retreat away as we do see that rock now going down here a little bit of damage there onto the son of osiris there 125 hp remaining here as the rock does end up going down son of osiris does manage to take down that fire giant though as the unit's going to try and sneak around onto the back here and clean that one up as yoshi's economy is getting absolutely disgustingly big here 30 hp remaining on the son of osiris more raiding cavalry coming through here these are champion raiding cavalry they've got bronze mail here kimo has got only copper mail he's got champion chariots though uh so y uh, yoshi might want to consider getting some pierce upgrades here as well uh, and we'll see if he's it will I mean, you just have to send like one raiding cavalry in there one full hp raiding cavalry please or just a handful i don't care yes yes son of osiris down bogey down Oh, and he's in he's gone and now and now Yoshi can breathe a sigh of, sigh of relief and he can start setting up for this Ragnarok as much as he wants as the trade is still coming through the, the, we got to, oh we've got some side builds coming in for Yoshi I love this this is absolutely huge for Yoshi getting in onto this location setting out a handful of longhouses in this corner dropping some wooden walls over here to throw up the longhouse over here prevent the villagers from doing all too much we do see some more units coming out on this location over here the units getting taken down we see the chariot archers coming through over here to try and deny this this uh, side build but there's already four uh, buildings here that can spam out old sarks unfortunately there's not too many upgrades for those old sarks just yet as Yoshi hasn't managed to get I mean does he have his economy in in gear here he, he doesn't have uh, he doesn't have winter harvest but he does have uh, flood control and 23 villages on the on the food at this moment 24 villages on the food as it does look like this is slowly going to get taken down but here's the thing yoshi can just start cleaning up this town since now that this is up he, there's, there's so much uh there's so much that chemo needs to do to prevent this from uh from being a real big problem here he needs to he needs to get siege out he needs to maybe take all his villages and clean this up the trade going to start to get dealt with here more buildings coming down over here for yoshi uh yoshi's got two fire giants over here that could easily take this town center down but he's not uh not going after it but meanwhile this is the problem i was talking about grabbing this town center here this forest is very very weak and this is going to go down super fast you can deal with this with some baluster but we see the ragnarok getting clicked here while he realizes how important this is to take out now what you can do actually on voobly not on extended edition it's a little bit of exploiting i'm not sure if it's a little bit of a gray area but you can actually chop this tree down and then drop a wall segment and open this location up to take the uh the, the the catapult down and considering honestly considering how abusive this kind of uh catapult shenanigans is i actually feel like it's kind of fine to do that just saying maybe maybe it's not. maybe it's not i don't know anyways rag hero is going to move straight in onto this fortified town center kim has got plenty of uh plenty of axemen potential coming out of this location here if he wants to but the trade rack getting denied while this is all coming in and the trade getting restarted up over here is really going to hurt Kimo moving forward. And Yoshi knows this. He goes, no, 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 no. Not this corner either, Kimo. You, can, you can't have the top corner and you can't have the bottom corner. And look at this from Yoshi. Yoshi's got himself 2,000 wood in the bank to spam whatever he wants. Towers, hill forts, longhouses. 
It doesn't matter. And this is exactly what he needs to do. All these units coming and cleaning up all of this location over here. Taking out this town center. He's going to be able to rebuild the town center there as well. He's got plenty of trade here. So he's, his gold is just going to go up and up and up while he while he's not gathering any units or or building any res using any resources here. As the villagers over here getting taken down. We do see Ballister Towers is up on this location as well. Uh, as he's going to try and hold that over here. We do see some uh, tr uh, mercenary cavalry coming over here to try and hold on to this. We've got double Pharaoh coming through through here but the walls are essentially up here Yoshi can buy some food here and get himself stone walls here as well to make this even more annoying as that wooden wall is up over here this wall is there as well and Kim was gonna have to rebuild the market over here now or something he does have a market here so just deleting these markers is gonna have to be the way forward as this town center now coming up more villages over here are getting cleaned up as well as we just got a handful of heroes of Ragnarok dealing with that over there the fire giant over there need to get into this fight and deal with those medium axemen here Yoshi is in such a commanding position in this game as he's starting to throw those those fireballs of doom onto the onto the axe from there as they're going to be retreating back the chariot archers retreating back as well as the villagers come over here as Kimber realizes how important this location is now he does have skin of the rhino but these are these are heroes of Ragnarok they are so absurdly strong here Kimber doing his best to make uh to make the fight happen here and, and win this fight as best as he can but uh there's going to be more units coming over here I'm sure as the oops as the uh as I hit view lock accidentally as this uh catapult here gonna attempt to take down this this fortified town center but the heroes of Ragnarok sneak around they're gonna be dealing with that one very very soon here as Yoshi still has 250 population left in the bank uh Kimo here 133 of 140 population he's got himself heavy axemen here he's still getting himself some resources he can sell food he can sell wood no problems here uh, one thing you could do if you're Yoshi I mean he doesn't have the resources to do it but you could sell uh, you don't really want to I guess Teleport. I was going to suggest you could probably sell some resources here in the wood to get your 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 more gold, but also you would um be preventing chemo from being able to sell for uh, efficiently as well. As the as the mining camp does go down over there, we do see a random villager managing to mine from this one gold mine over there. <laughs> As this wall will get cleaned up, these two fire giant here are going to be an absolute godsend in this fight here. As there's no mummies, so the fire giant can just clean everything up here. We'll see if he's going to be able to push through at some point. But it looks like it's kind of been stopped for the time being. As one hero of Ragnarok repairing that town center back up as best as it can. I imagine Kimo is going to attempt to sneak out another, another catapult here. Maybe a rock coming out or something here wouldn't be a bad idea to just like rock drop onto that onto that town center while things are going uh so so poorly for him he could try and make that work as the pharaoh does come in pharaoh is super strong against fire giants here uh we'll be able to snipe that one down nice play there there's a secondary pharaoh there as kimo has gotten himself that new kingdom upgrade as it looks like yoshi cannot make his way through here just yet 183 of 180 population he's going to be getting himself the titan age here ladies and gentlemen i love that play that's absolutely huge i don't know why i didn't do that the very start here when he clicked right maybe he didn't have the resources for it or wasn't exactly sure if that was the way to go but titan age here is going to be gigantic more villagers coming out he's got to buy more food to make sure he gets his villagers out once he gets about 12 or 4 uh 12, 16 villagers on food here he's going to be able to support all of his villager production to get that back up with four town centers getting back up to about uh 40 40 ish villagers won't take very long at all it'll only take like two or three minutes uh, so he should be completely fine here uh, as his army just sitting back here waiting for that siege of the Titans to come through. He's, he's still not buying that food that he needs uh, at this point. But we are going to be seeing this town center going to start getting taken down as Yoshi has to pull back. Yoshi realizing he doesn't need to fully commit to this. He's kind of equalized. Not equalized. He's in, a, he's in an advantageous position, but he doesn't need to go for the win here. Maybe this is the way to win the game. Titan coming through. Lots of units on this. He's got to be super careful here. Will we see Kimo getting his own Titan Gate out here? Moving forward, he's got enough resources, but he doesn't have the favor. He's got three monuments up, so he's going to be able to have that 50 favor very, very soon. But there are so many units on this Titan Gate here, and there's still tons, absolutely tons, of, uh, of military left for Yoshi. We'll see what's going to happen here as the hero of Ragnarok does manage to snipe down that uh, that mummy over there. 
as the catapult going to be coming back over onto this position. Now the fire giant can take down these catapult. This is what I've been saying. This is such a good counter to like the catapult set up here. Yes, if you have a mummy. Yes, if you have like something extra, you can deal with this. But Yoshi has, has dealt with that beautifully there. He took down the mummy first and then he cleaned up the catapult. Now the sound center stands for even longer as more fire giant are going to be coming in. And if you've got like three or four fire giants, you not only can you clean up like an enemy pharaoh with those, but you can also clean up the mummy that comes in to deal with you as well. As the Titan Gate getting closer, Kimo clicking up through the Titan Age as well, as he's got 50% uh, of the way to the Titan Age here. But this Titan Gate is already 50% finished. Now, there is a little trick you can do with the Titan, which I haven't seen many people doing. What you do is you get a speedy unit. Say, a, say, it's, a, say it's a hero of Ragnarok. Say it's a raiding cavalry. You set the raiding cavalry here, you grab the titan, and then you speed walk by moving the raiding cavalry with the titan going this way towards your opponent's base. And you can make that titan move significantly faster than 3.2 speed per second to get to your opponent's base and de deny your opponent's titan gate. Uh, as we see the, the raw titan coming through, I'm sure he's going to place that immediately, start getting it up. There are tons, and I mean tons, of camel caravans here, so it's probably going to be impossible to actually get in onto this titan, in all honesty. As the Axemen do swing in onto this position, but the Fire Giant here going to clean them up very, very easily here. Don't see all too much coming through here just yet as more Axemen getting uh, sacrificed to the Meat Grinder here as the Priest here starting to get some good damage done. Titan Gate here, nearly 80% finished as Chemo getting his own damn more Catapult coming in onto this position as Chemo is unrelenting on trying to take this Townsender down from afar here. Uh, <coughs> we see what's going to happen in this location. So we see the champion raiders trying to deal with all of this and this titan gate here going up ever so slowly here and Kimo now look at that score coming back into the lead but he still he still doesn't have himself uh, that fourth town center that third town center that he absolutely wants the catapult now coming through starting to throw those down doing a lot of really abusive damage again you kind of just need the best counter to the catapult like this is one ballister two ballister here they have less population they deal with the enemy catapult better than the catapult deal with them uh and you're in a really good position here so we'll see will uh will yoshi be attempting to move this titan uh by itself to his opponent's low base here this is going to be everything here the other thing is that yoshi still has all these heroes of Ragnarok, so he's still completely fine here he still has answers to the heavy axemen so even even if even if Kimo gets his Titan out and trades one for one on the Titan. The game isn't the game isn't won for Kimo here. So we'll see how it's all gonna end up going as the as the fire giant gonna come over here, deal with these catapult. The Titan here just gonna say, look, I'm gonna go straight for this town center. Right? Well, maybe he goes straight for the uh straight for the Titan Gate. We'll see. The, the thing is, if he gets onto the Titan Gate, he he denies the Titan Gate. And Kimo isn't doing any blockage here at all. Obviously, all the caramel caravans are gonna be completely fine. And we do see that the uh the town center here is going to go down that will shut down the trade route for a little bit here this is very smart but then he's going to lose a bunch of hp on the titan but then again there's tons of fire giant there's tons of heroes of ragnarok the town center going back up very very short, slowly over here yoshi now he's got 24 villages on food uh, he's got six on wood needs around i would say around about next another another 10 to 15 villages before you can just straight shut that off his his armor upgrades maybe could go a little bit higher and get more armor upgrades out if he wants we'll see what he's going to try here as there's the the raw rat the raw titan coming out here going to be able to start dealing with this enemy titan over here is the titan uh you can take out these axemen if you if he wants just turn around and smack them he basically one bangs them i think uh, as that's what's going to happen there. The, the, the Ra Titan moving over here, 3.75 speed a piece here. As the villagers here might get some damage done, but it's like, I mean, basically here, Yoshi needs to swing his heroes of Ragnarok around and use those to clean up the remainder of this Titan. Excuse me, the remainder of this Titan here. As we do see some walls coming up here from Kimo, he's going to attempt to deny the retreat path here. And one thing that this does here, if Yoshi just distracts with the Titan for ages, 
And you do see the wall coming in, but it's not going to be up in time. The village is going to be black blocking, and he gets one hit. He gets two hits. The Titan is still keep running away. But here's the thing. If the Titan is just alive and just walking around, the 20 population investment that Kimo puts into it is significantly more than the 20 population that Yoshi puts into it. In my opinion, oh, he almost stops the, uh, the, the town center from going up there, but not going to quite be able to... I uh, wasn't quite able to get there as the Fire Giant's going to start getting some damage down over here. The Heroes of Ragnarok getting in the way here to get some big damage done as the Titan swings around, going to start going after the Town Center as well. This is a very, very unique way of using the Titan here as the Stone Wall comes in. The Villagers coming through. Sure, just kill off the Villagers. There's nothing wrong with that here. As it looks like the Titan of Yoshi is at 5,000 HP. This town center going to get taken down very, very quickly as the uh, trade route gets restarted over here. The villagers on this location will get taken out as well uh, if uh, if Yoshi just wants to make that happen. As the, the ghost buildings get cleaned up, Kimo's coming through. We see more stone walls coming through, more ghost buildings coming through, but he's not able to get it up there. But the town center does indeed get taken down a second time here as now the Titan basically needs to turn around a big amount of damage there onto this one. He's just going to be running away again. We see the camel uh, the camel caravans trying to path block here a little bit here as the Titan retreats back. And now we see Yoshi coming in onto this position yet again to try and get through here and block the trade route ever uh, one, once again. Beautiful play here from Yoshi. He is playing this one absurdly good. However, this doesn't mean anything. If the Titan goes down, that Titan of Kimos is going to move forward and just kill off so many town centers of Yoshi here. Uh, as the Fire Giant comes in, it's going to attempt to deny this town center, but with the Pharaoh empowering it and all those villages here, it's not going to be enough. And there's nothing left over here for Yoshi to deal with that. But Yoshi's economy is starting to look incredibly strong here. He's going to be able to get himself out tons of Hursa and Fire Giants and everything else to clean up the rest of that Titan here as Yoshi turns around and takes a couple of hits over there. He's got 2,000 and HP remaining here as this uh this Titan fight is is super unique I've never seen it done quite like this and I absolutely love it from Yoshi he's gonna retreat through this wall keep that chemo Titan alive at and taking up 20 population and, and allowing him to just rebuild everything getting a whole bunch of legendary Yarls out now there's going to be a really really good unit to use against the Titan we're going to be seeing even more of these stone walls <laughs> Stone walls going up here, blocking the Titan here. As now, now Yoshi's Titan is just going to do the ring around the Rosie. Come back over here and try and take down the town center yet again. As uh, Yoshi doesn't really care, he's just like, no, nah, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna keep doing this. More walls coming up. <laughs> It's so fun. It's so abusive. It's so abusive. The double, double mummies are out of here. Yoshi not paying attention at the time being, but the hero of Ragnarok might be able to clean this up. Not really going to be able to. The heavy axeman is there. As the wall's now coming down for Kimo, finally realizing he's got to do some path blocking of himself here. As the Titan will be uh, retreating away, looking for somewhere else to go for the time being here. Uh, we've got still more Ox Caravans getting created by Yoshi. He's got plenty of resources yeah. in the bank. Does he have himself? He still doesn't have himself Winter Harvest, but you know, beggars can't be choosers. Uh, as the Yarls are coming through here, he'll we'll be dealing with those Heavy Axemen as best as he possibly can. As Funnily enough, it might... This might sound strange, but it might be worth it for Chemo to just delete his Titan at this point. Because this Titan here has only got 1900 HP remaining, and just to, just to stop this Titan shenanigans that Yoshi's doing. Because right now, Yoshi could just dive in on this town center as well, right? That wouldn't be a bad idea. As Kimo is just sitting back being defensive here. We see some Yarls moving in onto this position. Potentially some buildings here wouldn't go astray here. As Yoshi shows up on this location, going to be pulling back. He's got himself his Hursa out now to try and deal with this Titan. Norse is not really the best at dealing with a Titan, but Yoshi is showing... Uh, Maybe Yoshi's the best with using a Titan here. As uh, the Hursa coming through. I think if Kimo did leave this base and go and start attacking this town center, for example, uh, the Titan would just trade and kill this town center off, and then the trade route, or this town center off, and the trade route would stop, which would be advantage Yoshi. Uh, as the Hursa do all get cleaned up here, the Fire Giant here going down very slowly to a bunch of uh, very angry Axemen. As over here, we do see the Titan sneaking in onto this position, going to attempt to take down those markets over here. Doesn't want to get too close to here, because if a villager sneaks through and path blocks this, the, the Titan can take that one out. 
as more units are going to be coming through for Yoshi. He's still trying to get out a uh, full amount of Hursa and everything else. It's a lot of resources he's going to have to spend to uh, deal with this Titan. There's some wall more walls coming up over here. I'm not seeing all too much being done on this position. I'd love to see... Uh, Yoshi throwing up a hill fort or something here and getting a baluster or something and starting up some towers here and pushing through over here while this is all going on. But not going to happen just yet. Oh, I like this from Kimo moving out with his army. That's actually a surprisingly large army from Kimo. But this Titan with like one little smack in the ground should be able to clean this all up. As the Titan going to come through here. We do see the legendary Yarls coming through onto this position here as Yoshi just retreating back here. Big amount of damage there from Kimo. Now Kimo says, time to go after the town center. And he might be right here. Might be a very smart idea as the village is going to be retreating away. We see the Axemen coming through as well. As the Titan's going to make the long move around here. We we'll try and move back over here and deal with this. We we'll see a random... Uh, Oh, I like this from Yoshi. He's now starting up the hill fort over here. He's going to make, make some portable rams or he's going to make some... I don't know. You can make literally anything he wants out of that. Not not really. Probably just portable rams or, or something else there. Does he have the upgrade? Uh, I, don't, I don't know if I, he's got the upgrade. I can't see. It, it, no, I don't know. He doesn't have any rams out. As the, uh, the Titan sneaking through onto this location, we've got some more building blockage coming through here. Absolutely vitally important to do this to slow that Titan down. Getting so much damage done. Is now the Titan coming back in onto this town center. Going to be hitting Chemo's town center. As, I mean, there is still the ferry, but it does get picked off immediately there to the splash damage still has 1700 hp remaining as the town center goes down he can also clean up those markets there to slow that down as well as more longhouse is coming down to try and surround this titan preventing it from getting in onto this uh location over here as chemo's titan trying to bash through these longhouses there the champion ulvasar gets picked off just a little bit i'm gonna throw it back up yet again more more uh, building foundations can go here and he can effectively keep this Titan in this position for absolutely huge amounts of time here. As he throws it back down, Kimo tries to break it down again. And look at this. Once it goes down, you can literally just do you can literally just do this and it just and it just goes back up but he does a little bit of a miss, miss micro there from, from Yoshi's point of view. Tries to get in front with his units here. He gets another uh, another champion Ulfsark over here trying to throw up these buildings he doesn't quite manage yes he does manage to get that longhouse up here as the ox caravan coming through to deny this one we do see some portable rams coming in onto this position as the titan of yoshi's does manage to take down that town center he's going to move to the other town center over here as well the markets all get cleaned up as the markets over here from chemo more getting thrown up on this position but the titan's still coming through here yoshi needs to continue microing this to get more and more damage done onto the titan but looks like the town center of yoshi's will end up going down after all of that long wait there not only that we do see this town center has fallen as well as Kimo managed to use his catapult to clean it up never down never out and now the titan is going to start moving into that home town center but the trade of Kimo is absolutely shot but it doesn't matter here Kimo has got himself 2,000 gold in the bank at this moment here as the unit's trying to clean up this titan as best as it can the town center goes down 2,500 hp remaining here as uh, I imagine the Townsend will just get thrown back up immediately. Now the villagers moving forward here. And this is incredibly dangerous territory here for Yoshi. As he's given up this town center, he's trying to grab this town center, but this one is going to go up very fast with that priest over here. How much? How many resources in the bank for Yoshi though? He's got tons of resources. Convert into Ulfsark immediately here and just pound onto this. He's got a lot of resources lost to those houses getting taken down over here as the hearse are getting some good damage done onto the Titan here as the villagers come through. Not quite enough gold here for Yoshi. His trade route is still moving along uh, swimmingly. Uh, as the, the villagers trying to come through here, trying to take out this location. We do see some heavy raiders getting some damage done. 140 population back up. Yoshi's on two town centers at this point, still trying to grab this town center up. The priests are through here for Kimo, dealing with this one here. Uh, so that Titan is at 800 uh, HP remaining. More towers up on this position. Houses going down over here is Yoshi hasn't managed to place them all too well there as the hill fort does it go down more. Hursa coming in onto this position. The villagers have dealt with this and now there's a fire giant over there as Yoshi manages to keep this town center down for the time being as the Titan retreats back ever so slightly. 800 HP remaining is a lot of HP if you don't use that Titan to deal with it. Chemo's Titan going down very, very, very fast. Yoshi's Titan has stayed alive for so long 
Kimo's on such little HP. And look at Kimo's Titan at 893 HP. More houses coming uh, coming up on this location here for Yoshi as he is still attempting to deny this town center from getting back up as the, uh, the Hursa comes in. Going to deal with that mummy over there. Does he have a fire giant queued up? Yes, he does, but he doesn't have the population for it just yet. The town center over here going up very, very quickly as well. This one over here has not been quite claimed just yet. More houses going down over here as Kimo is just happily moving around there trying to deal with that. The army trying to take this out over here. The Hursa needs to deal with that. Uh, uh, mummy over there does manage to do that. The priest here gets shanked down by one of those villagers here. She's got tons and tons of resources in the bank at this point. Creating some old sucks here would be a really smart idea, but now the fire giant is out. That's going to be really, really strong here to deal with these units. Beautiful play where that's concerned as the champion throwing Axeman starting to get some good damage done over here. The villagers retreating over here onto the Ballister Tower as now the Titan here. 800 HP remaining. Need to get some units back here. Needs to get some population out. He hasn't quite gotten this town center up just yet. More units piling onto this position, but no catapult here. So getting this town center up should be a possibility. Maybe some more towers wouldn't go astray as the uh, Titan now going to be retreating back and saying, look, it's time to trade here. 800 HP a piece here. That should be enough. But look at this Titan going straight after the trade route. Love that play there from Kimo to, to make some pain here. But I think Yoshi's oh, he's only got the one market here, so he will have to rebuild that market somewhere as uh, as a market over here going to get dropped up as some villagers do get converted into old sarks here. There's more villagers getting built out. Yoshi needs to start this town center back up immediately. Those Hursa need to stop being trained over here as the catapult comes through. And Kimo is ever so slightly ever. He is getting closer and closer to, to, to stabilizing in this game. The town center is not being grabbed. Over here, we see the Titan trade as the Titan of Yoshi lives with 226 HP. But surely you just delete this Titan at 226 HP. It's not enough to heal off a town center. It's not enough to do all too much damage damage anywhere uh and it's just taking up 20 population but we'll see what he wants to do here with that more units pushing forward town center over here going to get grabbed back up more units coming forward onto this position here chemo now what's he sitting at he's sitting out very few amounts of resources and there is still the fact that there's this side build already set up over here for Yoshi and he can just start making Ballaster here, throw up a wall or something with a tower behind it and deny this town center. If he can get that out, he's sitting at 99% but it's just not quite there just yet as the uh, fire giant comes in. Going to be cleaning up that mummy immediately there. Nice play but another mummy going to be coming out as another fire giant comes out. This is kind of the way this uh, completely works. As now the, uh, the Titan comes in, going to clean up a couple of units over here. Villagers are trying to move forward onto this position as Yoshi is still trying to time bait here with this uh, with this Titan as best as he possibly can to prevent Kimo from ever grabbing this one. As the Ballister does manage to get out, there is a catapult over here. The Ballister will be able to stop this town center going up for quite some time as another, another Ballister is queued up over here. As this town center is trying to get back up over here, we'll see if the Titan can just move in and start taking out the, the home town center of Kimo. Both players very low. We see on, on town center, but Kimo, uh, sorry, but Yoshi's just about to get up to three town centers, which is going to be absolutely huge here for him because he's going to immediately get this baluster. Yes, he will immediately get this baluster out, which should be enough to deal with these catapult and everything else over here, preventing that town center from coming up as we see the Titan going to sneak through onto this location and go straight after these markets here. He's utilizing this 197 HP Titan better than any Titan I've ever seen in my entire life life here as the pharaoh comes forward here it's going to start dealing seven damage and attack here or 6.5 damage and attack here as the titan gets in it's four markets he needs to clean up i'm not sure he's going to be able to pick off every single one of these markets here as they're not directly next to each other and the titan will indeed end up falling as, uh, as we do see this town center over here, slowly getting closer and closer to getting up. That's a lot of villagers over here. The ballast are not focusing firing here in the town center for Kimo. Looks like it's up. Kimo's got himself the town center back. He's got himself tons of these camel caravans here. Uh, and he's going to restart that trade route and start getting his trade back firing on all cylinders here. The question is, can Yoshi get this town center up in time? We see the catapult coming through here. It's not going to click just yet, and it doesn't get it down just yet. So now Yoshi back up to four town centers, and we're back into the same position we were in some 20 minutes ago, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. We've come full circle here. Only difference is Yoshi is back to four. 
really, really good economy. And look at Kimo's economy. Four villages on food, seven villages or eight villages on wood, and tons of camel caravans. This is a problem that happens with Kimo uh, and Ra in the late game in general is if you pick off enough villages, they can't build those mercenary anymore because they have to rebuild villages. So now you're not actually playing against mercenary. You're playing against the clock to keep the villages down so you can't start any more mercenary out here. And in that moment, Kimo decides, my God, Yoshi, you are an absolute madman. I have to tap out. Praise to you. Odin late game or Odin game plan here. Absolutely insane. That was some of the best Titan management I think I've ever seen. Uh, and it really shows that there is more than just one idea with a Titan. Uh, and you just have to you just have to be using that brain just a little bit. Yoshi simply just showed how good of a late game player he is. He is easily one of the best late game players to have ever played the game. He's one of the, he's one of the best, if not the best, deathmatch players to have ever played the game and he is a, a absolute marvel to watch if you guys enjoyed this game please consider hitting the follow on the twitch if you're on the youtubes hit that subscribe button and i will see you guys in the next game